Alright, Halos, welcome back. We're once again doing some more Warlords Call to Arms, and we are in, I believe, our second uh, video of this, and we got 43 kills in the last game, and we ended up with 900 money total, which we had the 500 to start with, so it looks like we got about 400 more. Um, I'm not sure exactly if it matters how many like kills to uh, to actually like get more points. I believe it's just depending on if you destroy, if you win one of the little map battles, then you actually get more money. I believe that's all it is, but yeah, um, either way. Um, we could go ahead and try to buy a unit. A mage is now available to buy. Uh, we could go scout. They're very fast, but very weak. Um, so it's good for like getting a quick like advantage or whatever. But other than that, um, not... I don't really want to unlock anyone right now. Um, getting a horse guy would actually be pretty good, and they are a little bit more expensive. And obviously, if I can get the whirler, I would be super happy because that's the main one. So I think we'll try to go for the whirler first. Either that or the long swordsman. Long swordsman's very good as well. Um, they have a little bit longer of a cooldown before you can send them. But uh, yeah, another thing we could do is the swordsmanship. I think that's a pretty good idea to to get as quickly as possible. Um, but that also costs quite a bit. So let's go ahead and head on into the second match. Um, so now that we have this, we have a bunch more of uh, options open. As you can see, the difficulty did go up on some of these other ones as well. So um, we can now attack all of these. And some of them are easier, some of them are harder. But yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. Um, we should probably do another relatively easy one. We could go like the 3% one if we wanted to. But that means some of these other ones would get pretty high as well. So it just depends, kind of. Um, I think let's go ahead and take out Rune. Let's go ahead and take out that. It's difficulty 6, and it's owned by Men of the West. So let's go ahead and pop into there. All right. Looks like he's going to send a mounted spearman. I'm not sure which lane he's going to do it in, but yeah. Also, I misspoke last time. Um, it's actually... Eight lanes, not not seven lanes. So that's something to note there. It looks like I accidentally muted the match as well, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Give me just one second. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll go ahead and, and fix it the next next uh, time around. All right, let's send some guys. So this guy has actually javelin throwers, as you can see. So they're like ranged units that are pretty decent. Um, they're actually relatively strong, in my opinion. And they have a pretty good range as well. It's, it can be pretty tough sometimes. But yeah, let's go ahead and continue on. Yeah, the javelin throws might be pose a little bit of a problem here. We'll have to see. Oh, we got a freaking guy down here as well. Mounted guy. There we go. All right, we've just barely saved it. That's good. Oh, we do have our, our uh, charge now, so let's go ahead and use that. Let's try to send like an archer after each of the, the swordsmen if we can. And sometimes the arrows actually go like up or down on the map a little bit as well, which is kind of funny. All right, we're getting a little bit dangerous here. Yep, he's got a few guys through here now. That's not great. Yeah, we're a little rougher here. We're going to have to send most of them. Just like, let them through, I think. He's going to get some ground back here for sure. That's sad, but it is what it is. Hopefully we can try to defend from here if possible. All right, let's try to send some guys up here. Yeah, another reason why I like to, to focus on one lane if possible and try to get the, them to focus on one lane too 
is because of that right there. They can overwhelm you pretty quickly, but right now we're actually doing pretty alright. We're getting some, it looks like we'll get some ground back here probably, so that's good. I'll just wait for this javelin thrower down here to just go ahead and get a little bit closer before I send another one. Yeah, right now we're getting a lot of, a lot of uh, stuff back, so that's good. Looks like they're sending a few on this lane, so let's go ahead and send a couple more. The guys up top should be able to take out that mounted guy pretty easily, at least relatively easily. Looks like he doesn't quite have a charge yet, it seems like, so that's good. We're getting a lot of ground here, though. We might actually just win from all of these guys down here. Not sure. Yeah, I think we might, actually. Yep, there we go. Nice. Very cool. All right, so that's the next one down. I actually... Now I'm going to end the video here. It's going to be a bit short one, but that's fine. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. We got that one conquered, and now we actually have 1744 money out of, we got 95 kills total, so pretty good. Um, something I'm going to do, like I said, is get the swordsmanship back up a little bit, and then the spear training would not be bad either. Um, we don't have enough to buy anything right now other than that, but we could save up if we wanted to as well. Um, I think that's probably a good idea. We'll go ahead and do swordsmanship once more so we can get it back to normal. But uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll continue in the next part. All right, peace.